we need to do the same thing for the ladder where's the ladder there right here we are unable to see the white thing that goes around it but that's because it has a white background here so select that or perhaps we could leave that layer alone okay so looking back at the original we realize that all the the images the ladder the hammer the screwdriver the paint they were all hiding behind this um this part of the the design so what we're going to do we're going to ensure that we put the images behind it so ensure that we click our pick tool I put it about here so what we need to do we need to ensure that all of them are below uh, what we could do we could bring up this bring up the brown layer and ensure that it is above all the images so right about here is good so it's all these are below it now so we can move these up some more hammer up some more screwdriver bring it over some more perhaps reduce the size that looks good okay fine okay nice what we're going to do now we're going to add a drop shadow to this brown section here because there if you zoom in onto this you notice this dark lining which is the shadow being casted onto the white here so we ensure that we select that layer this brown layer go up to effects 3d effects drop shadow and then we are going to select the color of the shadow which will be black and right away we have the shadow here that's we, the reason why we're seeing it on our design is because we have this checked here I always leave it on and perhaps we could increase the blurriness some more and opacity, opacity some more and OK OK go back to the original we realize that there's this grass looking air to the left hand side so we will be using something else um just bring this in some more we're going to use this green texture here so drag it on to into curl paint job then again Tab, select that layer, drag it onto our design. Then we can close this. Words we hit tab again, and we notice that this image is very very big. It's onto its own layer. So what we need to do now, we need to reduce the size so that it fits onto our design. Now this is good and then we ensure that it's behind everything except um, the last layer so it's just above the white layer here and to the right to the left somewhere and what we will be doing now we will be using our eraser tool to kind of feed um, the edges out so ensure that that layer is selected and then kind of erase um, the edges some more make sure that all of this area is gone erase here and then increase the size of the brush ensure that the hardness of the brush is set to zero as well so that you get this gradual um, fading effect Right, 
Okay, this is good. There's a white section that goes around the text. So we can do, we can go to the text. Select that layer. And then with the text tool selected, click the, on the inside, Control A to select all of it, and then left left click to um, change the stroke color to white then increase the stroke width that's too much increase it to about five or four and then apply and there we have it that's about it and if we wanted to add a shadow to this text with that there selected we could go up to 3d effects effects 3d effects drop shadow and then it's asking us to convert it to layer that's um to a raster layer that's cool so okay and it's applying the previously used um shadow settings and that looks nice Perhaps we could increase the opacity some more, make it pop more, and then reduce the blurriness a bit. And then the shadow direction. So this controls the direction of the shadow. So you bring it close. This, and then hit OK. And there we have it, our first very simple business card. Um, this is not very, very attractive, but what the purpose of this video is to just show you how, you know, some of the techniques that people generally use when designing business cards, you know, the drop shadows, the cutting out of things, the removal of backgrounds for different images that they use on the design and so forth. So it's up for you now to use these tools to be creative to get creative with these tools and come up with designs that look really professional really nice okay thank you for watching